everyone and welcome back to War on Robert. In today's video, I'm going to show you to loot the museum heist stealthily using C4. And no, we won't be masking up or using any guns throughout this video. The only tools that you'll need is a lockpick, C4, and maybe a battering ram. So without further ado, let's get this one started. So when we first set this heist, you want to grab a duffel bag, place all your C4 inside the duffel bag, and also grab your lockpick and place it inside your duffel bag as well. Then from the truck, you want to head to the front of the museum. Once we get to the front of the museum, take out your lockpick, unlock the front door. After unlocking the front door, we're going to head inside behind these boxes. And once we're inside behind these boxes, we need to unlock this door to the left, but we want to wait until this guard faces the other way. So as he comes closer to us and his back is turned, we'll grab our lockpick and unlock this door to the left here. After unlocking this door, we're going to head inside, close the door right behind us. Grab our duffel bag, head down the hallway, but don't turn the corner just yet. There's a guard in here. So we're going to wait until he moves away. After he moves, sneak in right behind him. Take out our lockpick and unlock the door to the manager's office. After unlocking the door, we're going to head inside, grab the utility key card off the desk. Wait for the guard to move, place it in our duffel bag, grab our duffel bag. And on the left side of this guard, we're going to wait until he turns to head back down the hallway. So once he turns, we're going to head back down the hallway, open up this door, make sure the guard is not looking. If he isn't, grab our duffel bag, go out the front. And once we're outside, now we're going to head to the back of the museum. Once we get to the back of the museum, we're going to take out our lockpick, unlock this door, which will give us access to the break room. After unlocking this door, we have access to the break room, but we're not going to go in just yet because very shortly a guard's going to enter the break room, but we're going to wait until he completes his route. So once the guards move, we're going to sneak in right behind him, take out our lockpick and unlock the door to the basement here. After unlocking this door, we're going to open it, grab our utility key card, head down these stairs. Now at the bottom of these stairs, there's a camera, so make sure it's not spotting you. Head underneath the camera, go over to the utility room, scan the card, flip the switch, hide underneath the camera yet again, and wait for it to turn. Once it does, we're going to head upstairs. Make sure no one's looking. Grab our duffel bag, head through the break room, and head outside. Now once we're outside, what we're going to do is grab our lockpick, unlock this next door, and after unlocking this door, our next step is to gain access to the security room. So we're going to grab one C4, hug the left side of this room, make sure the camera's not looking. If it is, wait for it to turn. Once it turns, we're going to place the C4 on this door, like so, stand back, and if we're lucky, it should kill the guard inside, dropping his phone, and we'll grab his phone and do the check-in. Now pause for a second. Sometimes this might glitch out and the phone goes out of bounds or out of the map, huh? and the cops will get alerted. So to avoid this, what I would recommend doing is when the camera's not looking, grab your lockpick and quickly unlock the security room door. After unlocking the security room door, if a guard gets alerted, make sure you avoid his eye contact and wait for him to complete his route. After the guard leaves, go get a C4, place it on the left side of the guard inside the security room, take him out, and the phone should drop with no problems. And then scan. But after doing this, we don't have to worry about cameras throughout the rest of the heist. Our next step is to take out the guard in the intersection. So what we're going to do is open up this door. Notice where the guard is. If the guard's right here, we're going to place the C4 right behind him. Wait for it to explode. Like so. He should drop a phone, grab his phone. And we're going to do the check-in in the break room. After doing that, we're going to close the door to the break room since we're done in that area. Go over here, grab our duffel bag, head up these stairs. Grab our C4, make note of where the guard is. If we're lucky, we're going to wait until this guard gets on the other side of the cell doors and we're going to place a C4 on the cell door, which should kill him, doing the same thing as the security room. Once he's on the other side, place a C4 on the door. It should knock him out. We'll grab his phone and do the check-in on the staircase. Once we're done there, we can go upstairs, grab our lockpick and jump over the railing inside the inner chamber. While we're at it, we're gonna unlock this door from the inside. And now we have access to all the paintings and the art exhibits. Now all we gotta do is just take out our lock pick and unlock all the art exhibits. Now this is a good way of getting XP since we're unlocking all of them with the lock pick rather than breaking them with a gun or a battering ram. And once we unlock all the art exhibits, 
what we're gonna do is grab this cart and place all the loot on the cart here once we have all the loot on the cart we're gonna simply open up this door from earlier grab the cart head through the double doors backwards through the door that leads outside and once we're outside we're gonna retrace our steps and it's just a straight shot back to the truck and once we get back to the truck we can end the heist and this was how you loot the museum heist stealthily using c4 and a lock pick and now on to the next method of using the battering ram to start this heist you want to grab your duffel bag place your c4 inside the duffel bag also grab a lock pick while we're at it and grab a battering ram then from the truck you want to head to the back of the museum Once we get to the back of the museum, take out your battering ram and break open this next door. Sprint through this next door, break open the door to the basement and head downstairs. Now at the bottom of the staircase, don't forget about the camera and wait for it to turn. Once it does, break open the door to the utility room and turn off the alarm. After doing so, we're gonna take our battering ram hide underneath the camera and wait for it to turn yet again. And once the camera turns, we're gonna head upstairs and at the top of the staircase, we're gonna hug the left side and wait for a guard to appear from the left side. Once the guard passes by, sneak in right behind him, go through the break room and head back outside. Our next step is to grab our lock pick and unlock this first door. After unlocking this door, we're gonna take our battering ram, make sure that the camera is not looking. If it isn't, break open the door to the security room. Now doing so should trigger a guard. It will either trigger the guard from the lower part or it might trigger the guard from the higher part. If it triggers the guard from the lower part, all we gotta do is just wait until he loses interest and goes back to his post. Once he does, our next step is to go back to our duffel bag and grab our C4. But if the camera's looking, we're just gonna wait until it turns. After it turns, head back to our duffel bag, grab one C4 and place it on the left side of the guard on top of the desk inside the security room. Hide into the corner, Wait for it to explode, grab his phone, and take it to the break room. Our next step is to take one C4, head upstairs, and wait for a guard to appear on the other side of these barred doors. Once the guard appears, place it on the barred door, like so. Wait for it to explode. It should knock out the guard, grab the guard's phone, jump over the railing, and do the check-in in the security room. Our next step is to grab another C4, open up this door, and make note of where the guard is. If the guard is in this position, wait until he gets behind this pillar, place the C4 right behind him, and wait for it to explode. Take his phone, and do the check-in on the wall over here. Now after doing so, we're gonna grab our battering ram, jump over this railing, unlock the door, and now we have access to the entire museum and we just gotta do the same method but this time we can use our battering ram to break all the display cases now doing so will make the heist go a little bit faster but you miss out on some sweet xp now that we have access to all the art exhibits all we gotta do is just place them on the loot cart and take it back to the truck and once we have all the loot on the cart we're gonna simply take the same route go out these double doors go out this door to the outside and once we're back outside all we gotta do is go around the museum and it's a straight shot back to the truck once we get back to the truck we can end the heist and this was how you loot the museum heist stealthily using c4 and a battering ram i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow if you want to see a funny video click the video on the left if you want to see more tutorial videos click the video on the right and like always i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video